How's it going there guys? COD Master 2014 here. It is January 22nd, 2017, 7.30 p.m. here on the West Coast. And just have a earthquake coming into the seismograph stations here that I have pulled up. Coming off of uh, earthquake very close to the San Andreas Fault Zone uh, near Hollister, California. Not a large earthquake, but uh, nonetheless, it's uh, an earthquake in an area that I tend to watch very closely. You can also see it showing up up here in Mammoth Lakes, California, which is further south and also around the Parkfield area, which is very close to the, uh, the other station down here in Hollister. So it's uh, actually a 3.7. Let me show you guys. Let me refresh this map here for you. This red dot right here within the last hour this earthquake just happened. Hollister is this station uh, area right here next to that town, Hollister, California. That's uh, a station I have pulled up there. Um, so it's fairly close. 3.7 earthquake um, at 5.4 miles below the surface there. You can check out the waveforms there. You'll see exactly what I'm seeing here on the uh, seismograph stations you see a little jolt uh, at the beginning right here and then another quake you can also see it on this station right here too kind of like a one two slip um, so to sh show you the uh, waveforms here well apparently they haven't got it up yet but they will um, eventually so also here you can see three point uh, three point seven here Oh, where'd it go here? One second here. Looks like... See, they've actually had a couple earthquakes within that same area. So, it's interesting activity there um, along that section of the San Andreas Fault Zone. Any kind of slippage um, like that is something to watch closely. So, far as earthquake activity, recent earthquake activity, Looks like it started off early, early today with a 3.1. Um, followed up by a 1.9 and just now a 3.7. Um, within um, 25 miles of each other. So not in a general location, you know, not in the same area, basically just um, kind of like in a separate section there of the San Andreas Fault Zone area. 3.1 this morning here in Hollister followed up by the 3.7 uh, close to Soledad it looks like so further south on that section of the San Andreas fault zone so we'll keep an eye on it um, I just like to inform uh, local viewers here in California um, of any kind of earthquake activity going on um, along our famous San Andreas fault zone uh, area something to definitely watch and pay attention to We've had a lot of rain out here, a lot. Um, I'm talking, I haven't, I haven't seen this type of weather events in uh, at least 15 years. I mean, there's so much snow up in the mountains and we've had so much rain um, in the valleys of California and also uh, the Bay Area. Southern California has seen its share of rain. Not enough to punch them out of the drought, but here in Northern California, we have been officially cleared of the drought no longer in a drought and uh that was made public uh, a couple weeks ago and since then we've had tremendous amounts of rain on top of the uh, uh prior rain events that we've had this year and last year so it's a good thing for california uh might be a bad thing for fault zones as a you know the water sips it seeps into the ground and um it's possible to you know get some movement going on you know some uh some faults that may be stuck uh when you apply moisture down there over time uh it's possible they could snap especially if they have been under pressure for some time you know moisture tends to make the ground uh more soft and uh it could uh it could uh stir up the fault zones down there and you can also see another one right here coming in that one not as big, um, but still being picked up on the San Andreas Fault Zone uh, over here. I'm guessing that's the 
Let's go over here and check this out here. Okay, this one has not updated yet. Let's check out this one right here. I'm guessing that's coming from the 2.6 right here. Let's check universal time, 03.2705. Let's check the time up here. 03.2705, directly in the middle right there. So that's actually a 2.7, uh, I believe, or 2.6, that earthquake right there in the red. And that uh, is about the same depth. Uh, yeah, about the same, 8.3 kilometers below the surface there, along the uh, San Andreas Fault Zone. They call it the creeping section, so maybe these uh, couple small earthquakes there are just uh, a sign of it creeping along. Although, it looks like it's actually off of the San Andreas Fault Zone, um, closer to this Pine Rock Fault Zone. Hmm, very interesting there. Let's see where, uh, so that's on the 2.6. Let's take a look and see what that 3.7 was at, which fault zone that was directly on. There's a 3.7 right here. Let's zoom in a little bit. Looks like some people felt it. And that looks like it's in the general location of the uh, 2.6 that just occurred there. Off on the Pine Rock Fault Zone. Pine Rock Fault. So we'll have to keep an eye on it. It's close to the San Andreas Fault Zone. We got the Calaveras. I believe that that one right there is the one that's actually locked, and uh, scientists are saying that they're definitely overdue for that uh, section right there having a good sized earthquake right along this area, the Hayward Fault Zone and the Calaveras Fault Zone. They had quite the earthquake swarm there, I believe, uh, last year or possibly the year before that. But uh, for now, um, that's it far as earthquake activity goes um, they did have that large earthquake l yesterday um, I believe it was an 8.0 so looks like it got downgraded to a 7.9 you can see this one right here the, the large rings 7.9 that was yesterday last night but uh, as far as global earthquake activity there's no deep earthquakes um, looks like let me drop this here, the date range just a tad bit. Not too much. Right about in there. You can see some activity going on in the central part of the country. Oklahoma um, is active as it has been within the past year or two. And it looks like some more activity going on um, just east of there, perhaps around the uh, New Madrid fault zone area. So that's something we definitely want to watch. Let's see if I can get some more info on this 2.5 right here. So it's in Tennessee. Um, let's see if there's any fault zones around the area. Okay, I'm not for sure if this map is actually showing it. I mean, they had the, uh, let's see here. It's in Mississippi. So this is kind of off in the uh, Tennessee area around the Great Smoky Mountains. This one right here, 2.5, that's the epicenter. So, as far as that, uh, some swarming going on there in, um, What's this area down here? Puerto Rico? Oh, Br British Virgin Islands area. Okay. So a little bit of swarming at a uh, depth of 56 kilometers. Looks like some activity going on uh, up around Yellowstone, a 3.4 earthquake. That uh, that is very viewable on this station map right here called Yellowstone Thumbnails. I like to pull this up on occasion and <clears throat> see the activity going on in Yellowstone. There's that earthquake right there on that map. You can see it clearly on the thumbs. A little spike right here on all the maps. 
Um, no sign of any kind of swarming going on at Yellowstone, which is a good thing. But nonetheless, we do like to watch it. Um, on this map, or on this seismograph station here, you can see the 7.9 from last night kicking off. Uh, quite the P waves um, throughout the globe. But other than that, it's fairly quiet, guys. Um, we will be uh, updating you guys periodically on uh, any kind of changes or increased earthquake activity in this section of uh, California. So stay tuned. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please make sure you subscribe and like and share on Facebook if you can. So nothing to be concerned about, but uh, I do like to... Like I said, uh, let my viewers know of any, any kind of activity going on in the uh, San Andreas Fault Zone area. So have a good night, guys. Stay safe out there. Have an earthquake plan as always. And uh, we'll talk to you soon.